The girl sold herself to the rich man for three nights for 500,000. As long as the child is successfully conceived, will be able to pay the debt for her father. Their first meeting is a vent without emotion. Elizabeth needs money to cover her father's debt. She does not want to destroy her life for money, so chooses to be a surrogate for the man Charlie. On the second night of the deal, Elizabeth develops strange feelings for Charlie. She knows she can't have emotions. It was just a deal, she said. I, I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know anything about you. As if, this is also said to herself. On the third morning, Elizabeth was standing on the beach. She wanted to shout at the sea, but she didn't dare. Charlie encouraged her. She only dared to shout softly. She smiled shyly, shy as a child. The atmosphere between them seemed to have changed a little. The last night of their lovemaking was extraordinarily indulgent. But the three days were up. The deal was half done. At this point, the man announced that her mission was over. Like a handover. But Elizabeth was obviously very upset. After 10 months of pregnancy, she had a painful delivery before she could recover. She heard a cry from her baby. Before she could see the baby, her own child was taken away in a hurry. All she knew was that she had born a girl. No mother would like to lose a baby. As time went by, she missed her child desperately. As so, oh, every year on her child's birthday, she would silently paint an oil painting. The brightly colored paintings all contained the thoughts of her daughter. Although she didn't know where her daughter was, what was her name? Gradually, the belief of finding her daughter took root in her heart. Seven years passed. Elizabeth spent six years working as a governess in England. She gave lessons to many noble children just to see her daughter again. This time she came to an estate. The owner hired her to teach his daughter. After a month's probation, she could live in the house. The maid told her that this child was not easy to get along with. She has already pissed off for teachers. Elizabeth searched everywhere for the child, but she didn't see her. She learned it from the servants, that the girl was in the pavilion of the lake. Elizabeth walked through the long corridor, opening a glass door to the lake. She looked at the girl in the pavilion through the dense water vapor, turned to sit on a chair behind the window, quietly watching the girl who was alone and silent. Maybe she doesn't know that this is her daughter. Maybe she sensed that it was her daughter. Soon the girl came back to the shore in her boat. The moment she saw her, she might have known the answer. After the girl learned it, that she was her new teacher, the warm scene was broken by her foul language. Then back her away, lady. This teacher is very tough. When confronted with a naughty girl, she threw the paint directly on the girl's face, and then threw a glass of herself. The girl did not eat lunch, and the teacher did not eat with her. I'm cold. So am I. I hate you. Hate me if you want, but you must obey me. I won't. I'd die first. Hmm. How will you die? I'll drown myself in the lake. How will you make your body stay underwater? It just will. No, it won't. Bodies float. The girl had no choice but to listen to the lecture. The girl has been raised in the suburbs since she was a child. Her father pampered her extremely, which made her the arrogant nature she is today. Her father spoiled her so much that she became so arrogant. When the man returned home and saw the new female teacher, he looked at Elizabeth with shock and suppressed his nervousness. After a tense conversation with his sister's friend, he immediately took Elizabeth into the study. Then he questioned her repeatedly, desperate for her to leave his world. How could Elizabeth leave after searching for her daughter for seven years? In the end, because of the one month notice period, Elizabeth was left behind. Charlie took her to his wife's room. The wife was lying on the bed with no movement except her eyes wide open and breathing normally, like a statue. It turned out that his wife had been in a car accident, which turned her into a vegetable. That's why they to have the deal. Charlie asked Elizabeth to swear to his wife to keep the secret that she was the mother of the child. After Elizabeth's promise, she began to concentrate on teaching her girls. To get Louise interested in learning, she spends her days drawing cards for the child. But everything is difficult at first. At the first class, Louisa pounds on the door and yells to get out. Elizabeth! On the other hand, was focused on her own business, and said she could not go out until after class. The naughty girl repeated Elizabeth's words, then she gave a provocative look. Elizabeth knew it would be a long battle. She got Charlie's permission to use special methods to teach the child. Outside the door, Charlie heard his daughter's cries. He immediately ran to the door of the study. This method caused Charlie's extreme displeasure. The two had a disagreement on the issue of education, but after a fierce struggle for the keys, Charlie also obeyed Elizabeth, because she said Louisa is also my daughter. Louisa went on a hunger strike and Elizabeth didn't eat either. Louisa felt cold. Elizabeth also said she was cold. After several rounds of stalemate, Louisa still compromised. She looked at Elizabeth and asked herself what she needed to learn. Only then did Elizabeth begin to patiently teach her with cards. 
before going to Edward to the fireplace. When she was done, she went to Edward to the fireplace. Louisa also followed Elizabeth's example and fiddled with the cards. At this time, Elizabeth told Louisa the story of the firelight. When you put the lights out, time will stop, and then you can say and do whatever you want. But when the lights come on again, time will start all over again, and what you have said and done will be forgotten. And this story is a metaphor for the three nights she spent with Charlie. This alludes to her own life. Girl dressed in thin clothes walking in the frouncing lake. The next moment, the ice broke and she fell into the lake. The woman on the shore defiantly, immediately beat the ice and sink into the lake to rescue. The woman was a teacher who had just arrived. She is also the girl's biological mother. The three days of trading seven years ago planted seeds in the hearts of them. After seven years, Elizabeth's heart not only misses her daughter but also misses the man. Facing the rebellious daughter she had never seen before, no one could approach her except her father. She was furious to see her daughter's present disrespectful and disrespectful appearance. If you marry, everything you own will become the property of your husband. If you don't marry, every profession will be close to you but one. That one is a life of loneliness and humiliation. They lock you up, Louisa. But there is one more they can't lock. They can't imprison your mind. That's why I want you to learn to read. I want you to have your own life. After the ups and downs of her life, she gave a bitter account on her daughter, an attempt to give her a glimpse of growth, and it seemed to work. Louisa started to listen to the lessons. She also began to open her heart gradually. Her daughter was holding pictures of her mother and father's words, answering Elizabeth's questions. It turned out that the daily guardianship of the lake house was Louisa's deep longing for her mother. The daughter's heart finally opens a door for Elizabeth. At the same time, the metaphor of firelight also ignites the feelings of the male protagonist. When Charlie asks about those three nights, the words and actions of the two revealed only one secret. That is, love. So Elizabeth can finally cry out from the bottom of her heart. For her happiness. For her love. For her undying faith in her heart. For her daughter and for herself. At this moment, all the depression she had felt for years was finally resolved. At the ball, the two would quietly hide in the room to dance. The hands clasped in silence in the hallway. Embracing each other by the lake, the love between them finally broke out. But it didn't last long. There were many new faces in the house that day. She learns from Charlie's sister that Charlie's business has failed. The house was about to be sold to cover his debts. The next day they had to move out. That night Charlie came to his wife's room, who had been a vegetable for 10 years. Faced with his life and his renewed feelings, he extinguished the fireplace in the room, opened the window and ended his wife's life. Before leaving the house, his daughter opened Elizabeth's picture book. All the pictures on it were filled with thoughts of his daughter, Louisa who saw Elizabeth again, got the answer to her question. Finally smiling, she throws herself into Elizabeth's arms and cries out, Mother, with a film, we can feel the beauty of sex, the charm of love, the power of motherhood, Elizabeth's obsession with freedom, as cute as a child, the power to overcome strength with tenderness. The brilliance of the film is that, it does not stay in the framework of an old story, but explores the deeper sense of the mission of women.